Hallo, wieder meine Freunde. In this video I'm going to build a cute German Halftrack mittlerer Zugkraftwagen 8 Tonnen in 1 to 72 scale. I chose new kit made by Revel. Box art is very nice and the kit is easy to assemble. However, in this video I will show you how to make a few modifications and challenging sketch build from plastic profiles. The box contains a lot of plastic parts and very nice colorful manual. You can build from the kit three types of SDKFZ7 but also there are parts for SDKFZ6 and again for different versions, so actually you can make five different vehicles. The plastic parts are nicely molded from grey plastic and with many details. So, no more talking about the kit and let's start with model assembly. As usual, first I must cut out plastic parts from the sprue with side cutters and then clean mold lines and gates with a nail file. Revel Contacta Glue has dense consistency, so application is very straightforward. However, I found out more practical to pour glue into the glass bottle and then apply glue on the plastic parts with a toothpick. The second glue which I use is Mr. Cement S. It has very thin consistency instead of contacta. The application is different. I simply let to flow glue between two plastic parts. It evaporates on air very fast, so it does not cause any damages to small plastic details. I cover pinholes with Tamiya white party. I think wheels are nice, but they do not look like on the box picture. I try to make tire pattern more detailed with a Proxon micro mode. It is a small microelectric hand drill. Now I melt down plastic dust with extra thin glue. I think it doesn't look bad, but I would like to have something like this. Razor saw is another convenient tool. I make three very slight lines. You must be careful not to cut your fingers or make cut deep. Otherwise, you will need more glue or painkillers. You must be very focused what are you doing, because one mistake can ruin wheel and also the whole model. After all, the result is much better. I told you at the beginning of this video that I will make some scratch build. I think that it will be interesting make this version, but without covering tarp. Dragon make this version of half track in 1 to 35 scale, so I make the same, but in 1 to 72 scale. You will need plastic boards and different plastic profiles with different sizes and diameters, if you will make any scratch build or modifications. I do not have blueprints, therefore I cut plastic parts according to estimates. It will not be 100% accurate, but in the end you will not notice it. At least I hope.
Now I make construction for covering tarp from metal wire. I measure size by plastic parts from the kit and I glue wire to plastic with a super glue. That was easier than I expected, and honestly, it was a quite fun. And now, as usual, I cut out solid plastic handles with a sharp knife. I rescribe and make panel lines more pronounced with a razor saw. The parts do not fit perfectly, and I don't like parting, so I try to modify shape with a knife. I unify model with a grey primer, it will reveal me all imperfections. I removed plastic handles, so now I must add new ones from metal wire. I need to flatten wire for handles on the engine cover. I use for this purpose ordinary copper wire and hammer. It is 1 to 72 scale, so I must use sharp hobby tweezers for bending. Now I need to create a rod with a ball, like in this image. I don't know what purpose of this installation was. Maybe you can write me a comment so that I will learn something new. However, I know a good technique how to make this detail. I put a thin copper wire into flame. The wire will melt down after a few seconds and at the end creates a nice ball. I like how just a few easy details can make from ordinary kit something special. And I forgot to create handles for rifles, therefore I make new ones from a plastic board. Rifles are included in the kit. I can see mold lines after primer. I must remove them with a sharp hobby knife or with a sandpaper. As you can see on the front fender are large rivets. I will try to make them from plastic thread. I cut many small rivets with a sharp blade and glue them on the model with an extra thin glue. So the model is almost finished, now it only remains to paint it. First I spray model with a dark grey acrylic color.
I spray cargo bay with a light wood color because it was made from wood. I bought new chipping fluid from Amomic. It has correct consistency for airbrush, so application is very straightforward. Of course, I try it first on the plastic board. So I applied two very slightly layers and let it dry for a few minutes. Now I spray the whole model with a German grey color. I diluted acrylic tamia color with a lacquer thinner. I found out that I must spray very thin layer, since otherwise color could dilute the base chipping varnish and the result would not be very good. Now I spray highlights with a light grey color, this technique will make the surface less uniform. Now it only remains to use a little bit of water and dilute varnish. Rest is more or less random. If you put more pressure to brush, then you will wipe color more quickly. So this way you have at least some control over the final result. I think that final texture looks very realistic. I like this kit, because tracks are easy to assemble. It is always better to remove color from plastic before gluing. Now it's time for washes, this technique makes pan lines and other details more pronounced. I use for this purpose enamel dark brown pan liner. I add a little bit of dust and mud on chassis, wheels and tracks. I simply mix dry pigment and animal thinner. The model still looks very weird, because cargo bay is very weathered and engine cover is clean. You must always find unity among all effects, therefore I paint tiny scratches with acrylic colors.
And of course I must add some cargo. I use accessories for German army made by Black Dog. Now I paint more highlights and shading with oil paints. I let dry everything one day and then I unify model with semi gloss varnish. So the model is finished, but I want to show you another cool technique. I want to make front glass a little bit dirtier. The truck has wipers, so I create masks and spray highly diluted color over them. The result is nice, but still very uniform. I wipe dust a little with ethanol. That was again very funny kit. If you think that scratch build was challenging, then you can simply build model from kit without no modifications. You will also enjoy it. So that is all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.